In this video, we'll be looking into limitations of algorithmic power. We'll be discussing what decision trees are, what is P, NP, NP complete problems. So speaking of this topic, it is uh, purely theoretical. So this could be asked for um, eight marks or six marks in the exam uh, from the fifth module I'm talking. So let's uh, dive into the modu module. So first we have limitations of algorithmic power. That is uh, each problem can be solved using a particular algorithm, but not all problems can be solved using algorithms. So what is said here, some problems cannot be solved by an algorithm, but some problems can be solved in alg algorithm, but not in polynomial time. So even though a solution exists for a problem in polynomial time, there are lower bounds on efficiency of algorithm, that is, efficiency cannot be improved further. Speaking of uh, a traveling salesman problem or Hamiltonian problem, whatever the efficiency is, we cannot improve it further. So that's what uh, is a limitation of algorithmic power. Speaking of what polynomial time is, it is the amount of time taken for an algorithm to solve a polynomial function. So we know that we, for every uh, algorithm, we deduce, in the analysis part, we deduce a recurrence relation. So that recurrence relation is, a polynomial function. Most of it is, most of it are polynomial functions, right? So, solving uh, the amount of time taken for an algorithm to solve such function is called polynomial time. So, it does not contain any fraction or negative numbers. So, this time is proportional to the input and is very efficient. So, this was about polynomial time. Let's look into what a P class, NP class, NP complete, NP hard is. So, starting with P class. So, class P is decision problem that can be solved in polynomial time in by deterministic algorithms. Deterministic algorithms means you, you can determine the solution from this particular algorithm. So this class of problems is called polynomial class of problems. Then we have non-deterministic algorithm which is a two-stage procedure. Uh, that is uh, guessing stage and verification stage. Two stages are there here. So it takes input as an instance of i of decision problem and does the following. That is First, non-deterministic stage, that is the guessing stage. In guessing stage, an arbitrary string is generated that can be thought of uh, as a candidate solution to the given instance. For that particular instance, a, a candidate solution is generated. Now, we have the verification stage in which a deterministic algorithm takes both i instance and s, the arbitrary string as input and output. It produces s, yes, if s represents a solution to instance i. Firstly, we are guessing the solution and secondly, we are verifying if the guess solution obeys, uh, like it, if it represents a solution to that particular instance or not. Then we have what is class NP. Class NP is decision, class of decision problems that can be solved by non-deterministic algorithms. Uh, this is called problem, this class of problems are called non-deterministic problems. So we understood what is the definition between class, P class and NP class. And we also saw what is uh, NP, a uh, non-deterministic algorithm. Next we have uh, decision trees. So the various algorithms such as sorting and searching work only by comparing given elements. So the performance of these algorithms involves comparison can be obtained by using decision trees. So let's see the definition of decision trees. So it is also called as comparison tree is a binary tree. So basically it's a binary tree that represents only comparison of given elements in an array while sorting or while searching. So it performs comparisons of those um, arrays. Okay. So in algorithm, the control transfer data moment and all other aspects of algorithm. So looking into decision trees for sorting, most sorting algorithms are comparison based. So uh, be it um, uh, like any any sorting for that matter, we compare it with the neighboring elements or we increment or decrement the values rate we have seen in previous videos. So they work by comparing elements in a list to be sorted. By studying the properties of decision trees for such algorithms, we can derive important lower bounds on their time efficiencies. So we can interpret an outcome of sorting algorithm as finding permutation of the element indices of an input list that puts the list elements in ascending order. So uh, example they have told, we take three elements of orderable items such as real numbers or strings. Uh, output uh, for outcome A should be less than C, should be less than B obtained by sorting the list. So let's see the list now. So here we have a um, question example is to obtain the decision tree to find minimum of three numbers. So to find the uh, decision minimum of three numbers, firstly we'll compare A and B. If A is greater than B, yes, it comes on the left side. If no, it goes on the B, uh, the right side. If A is greater than B, we can say that A is larger. 
now coming to a is larger we will first we will again check it with c so if a is greater than c you can say that a is greater than b and a is greater than c also thus a is the largest coming to coming to this side uh, we can say that uh, if a is not greater than c uh, if a is not greater than c then c is the largest coming to this side we have b is greater than c so b is greater than c if it is true b is largest else c is largest this question can be interpreted as largest or to find the minimum one also so in this case c is minimum here and b is minimum here so if binary tree of height h has maximum number of leaves then it has only leaves on the last level the number of nodes in each level we have discussed this in uh, heap sort topic yeah we have discussed this in heap sort topic do watch that video so in level 0 we have 2 2 power 0 that is one uh, number of no there that is one node and coming to level 1 we have two nodes in level 2 we have four nodes here yeah, and it goes on so we can say that uh, the number of so uh, speaking of uh, uh, these decision trees the algorithm depends on height of tree so h is greater than equal to uh, greater than equal to log of 2l so we can observe that the lower bound depends on the height of binary decision trees such such a bound is called information theoretic lower bound so this is not that important understanding what decision trees are how it is represented uh, for a given question is important so again we have decision tree for three element sort, uh, selection sort a triple above a non uh, a node indicates the state of array being sorted so a we have a b c so again a is less than b if a is less than b then b is greater than uh, a right so here, here again we are comparing b with c if this holds true we'll compare uh, b a c we'll compare now a and c if this condition is satisfied we can uh, deduce that b is greater than a sorry b is less than a and here um, a is less than c if it if it fails we can say that b is less than c and c is less than a on this side if we come b is less than a if this is true then we can say that c is less than b yes c is less than b and b is less than a coming to this side here if a is less than b if it is true we can say that uh, a is the smallest yes and again a is less than c we are checking a, if if a is less than c we come to a, a condition that um, a is less than c next again we are checking if b is less than c if b is less than c we can deduce that a b c they are in this particular order if not we can say that um, b is greater than c sorry b is uh, c is greater than b so a c b this order if not if a is not less than c we can say that b is less than a and if this fails we can say that c is less than a less than b so here uh, we make use of stilling formula to reduce the c worst that is the complexity we get it as n log n n log to base uh, to n so this is about the decision trees for a tree element of selection sort so let's move further we have p np complete uh, np and np complete problems so understanding the definition so the set of decision problems that can be solved by deterministic algorithms in polynomial time are called polynomial class uh, problems this we have seen in p class definition right the p class problems include only decision problems which are problems with yes or no either it's a yes or a no in other words the problems that can be solved in polynomial time by determ deterministic algorithms are called p problems yes so for example searching and sorting algorithms that is uh, finding gcd of two numbers or to check whether the graph is connected or acyclic finding minimum spanning tree and all are p problems it comes it comes under p problems because they are solved uh using a uh, deterministic algorithm in polynomial time coming to np problem np class so problems that can be solved in polynomial time by non deterministic algorithms are called np np problems so here np means non deterministic polynomial so in this theory the class np consists of all those decision problems whose positive solutions can be verified in polynomial time given right information the solution should be obtained in polynomial time Uh, on a non deterministic machine so it is um, the np class problems are divided into np complete and np hard we'll see what np complete is so this decision problems that belong to np class is called np complete problem here every problem is np uh, in np is polynomially reducible to decision problem so if they are reducible to decision problem 
they come under np complete problem so we should know we should show that uh, the problem in question is np is an np that is a randomly generated string can be checked in polynomial time to determine whether uh, or not it represents a solution to the problem so we should show that every problem is np reducible so firstly showing uh, the problem is an np and then again showing it, it is np reducible we can state that it comes under np complete problems so it is known that p is equal to np or p is just a proper subset of np that is what we we can understand here it is called in polynomial time here again polynomial time but then it is reducible yeah so that's what the statement uh, speaks of we'll see what np hard problems are the optimization versions of difficult combinational problems fall under this class so the problems that are uh, uh, that are at least as hard as np complete are called np hard problem so np complete and np hard problems basic concepts we have seen what np p class problems are what does np class problems we have seen what np complete problems are what is np hard problem so if a if a np hard problem can be solved in polynomial time then all np problems can be solved under polynomial time so this is uh, we have we, we saw no p is a subset of np uh, np class and speaking of np hard it is again um, like np and np hard the combination the intersection we have np complete and on the side we have np hard problems speaking of non deterministic algorithms so non deterministic algorithms contains operations whose outcomes are limited to specific sets of possibilities that is the following three functions are used here one is the choice function uh, it arbitrarily chooses one of the set of one of the elements from the set s uh, then we have failure or success indicating whether it is successful completion or unsuccessful completion firstly looking at the problem searching x on um, array uh, we have n greater than equal to 1 on success returns j if a of j is x else it returns 0 so j is choice so here j chooses an element so if the element matches with a of j with x then we write j as success if not we write j as failure so that's what this algorithm speaks of then we have sorting array so we have given a array of positive integers in ascending order we have to sort it so we are taking l and n elements are there in array um a is the array for i is equal to 1 to n do b a b of i is equal to 0 so initializing d of i to be 0 we are taking b element b array then we are taking i is equal to 1 to n do so firstly we are taking a choice we are selecting a element if that is not equal to 0 then we are uh, putting it into uh, then we call it as failure and then we are updating b of j with that particular element and this keeps on iterating next to verify we are again taking for loop i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 do we are checking if b of i is greater than b of i plus 1 if this condition is satisfied we write failure else we write b of 1 to n as success so this is what sorting array using choice failure and success in non deterministic algorithms next so this was about non deterministic algorithms we have tried covering all the important uh, theoretical concepts the definitions and the examples so that it about uh, this particular module this particular topic limitations of algorithmic powers if you have any doubt do let me know in the comments and uh, like share and subscribe thank you